Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video answer welcome to the channel guys and uh, into this video we're going to look into your week 28th of uh, february to 6th of march 2022 and if you do enjoy the channel and my work as well uh please subscribe give if you haven't already though and uh, give a like hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads and uh, live streams as well because we do live streams also and uh yeah i mean that's pretty much what i have to say as a prologue and let's jump into the reading itself which the first card for you cancer we do have the ace of cups uh followed by the second one which stands as the uh ten of pentacles uh followed by the next one which is the six of cups uh moving next we do have the eight of cups and the final one that is going to be two 
you'll want and if that's not great i mean it's a, a perfect week to have especially if you do need a moment of respite and kind of like you are very tired of disappointments and you just want something good finally to happen which is coming your way okay uh, but you need to have the mindset though to kind of like appreciate it fully and uh, that mindset put you forums at the start of the week where you're going to get your independence where you're going to start seeing seeing things or the blessings around you for what the blessings truly are learn how to enjoy them to their fullest and afterwards it's just the future is going to look so much brighter if by this point the future uh, for you kind of like it's it, it's light was like from a flame of a candle it will be a freaking rainbow after that week is done all right so uh starting up with the ace of cups obviously you just can't read that card any differently than you are gonna freaking love the start of this week okay it's just is gonna be something that it will blow your mind and, and your emotions as well of how good things are to develop as it's a general reading we can say that that's a love coming your way which is very very possible that is the most possible thing coming up all right whether it is already existing love that is going to grow exponentially or it is a new love but we have to be objective here and general with the card and the card pretty much speaks that there is going to be unexpected circumstances that are going to uh, make you love your life whether it is like i said by you finding a new love or by you finding a new job whatever it is guys is going to make your concerns worries problems if you will be irrelevant they are no longer going to be there if you have a concern am i ever going to find love in my life well that concern is not going to be there anymore for there is the love in front of you but like i said you need to have the mindset to appreciate it that mindset is going to build up in the next few days after that these a uh, circumstances here which are going to exert an impending change into your life that transcends your reality into something great uh, are to take place and uh, the starting of that appreciation will be with the ten of pentacles okay where towards the middle of the week from the start towards the middle of the week you're going to start placing yourself very comfortably into that environment you are going to start taking the resources and, and how can i put it into words and, and make a good use of these resources and, and as you doing so you're going to start feeling very independent which by the way that combo that we do have here it may speak that you are going to be able to pay off your mortgage without any problem whatsoever or for example purchasing a home and these cards are a validation for a, a very very good deal it's just you can you can pretty much a how can i put it into what strike a better deal than that at this given time and your concerns of being robbed are just no longer there but whichever the case you are going to find yourself in a very, very comfortable spot, whether it is into your career, your home, your relationship, very independent in it, okay? Like nobody can influence your environment but you. And that card has a little bit of a more specific meaning. And uh, that meaning is that at this point, you may reconcile with a person from your past. It doesn't have to be an ex. It could be an old friend. You lost touch, you know, for a few years, maybe a decade. And now you're, you, you have the opportunity to catch up together. But whatever the case, uh, this person is going to come back and will try to earn your trust one, once more. And uh, it is entirely up to you, would you want to allow them to do so, or pretty much not. But as you do sit comfortable into your environment, the Six of Cups takes place, and now that is the right mindset here. For that card only states that at the middle of the week, everything is going to seem... And I don't know the English word for it. Beautiful. Let, let's use that word, okay? Beautiful. Because, hear me out here. In your job, everything that you are to do, may it be a chore even at that point, 
it will feel pleasant. It is just, even if it is a chore, you're going to find a, a way to tackle with that chore. Uh, it is pleasant for you that it feels like a game rather than a, uh, rather than a, how can I, rather than a slog, right? R rather than a, uh, uh, I don't know, I can't find a word for it. Your personal life, your relationship life, every single relationship that you do care for is going to have that innocence into it is going to have that purity into it and your intimate interactions here are going to be immaculate it is because under the energy of the six of cups intimacy forms under the energy of physical and emotional attraction simultaneously so should you happen to fall for somebody this week they're going to fall for you as well not just only because you look good but because they are developing emotional attraction and vice versa as well and it is just there isn't anything more beautiful than that and that's why i use the word beautiful here and uh, after that forms up the uh, eight of cups takes place and that is uh from the middle of the week towards the end of the week here the things are slowing down a little bit but not in a bad way now that is the card where it transforms that flame from a candle into a a rainbow or why not into a raging sun instead right because with the eight of cups uh, at that stage yeah that card carries on a disappointment but that is a, a disappointment of the reality okay um that the reality is not perfect but what you did at the start of the week it is that you learned under these three cards like i said it is that you learned to appreciate your blessings and to make the most use out of them and so even as it is any imperfect right now it's more than enough for you and therefore you do see a rather uh, gl glimmering not glimmering twinkling uh, shining let's use that word a shining future in front of you and rest assured with the eight of cups although the situation that you are in it is not perfect but for you is going to be in the grand scheme of things is not going to be perfect but that's besides the point so even that may be the case here uh you are only going to see it for what is good, for what it's worth, okay, or for, for the maximum worth of it. And rest assured, uh, the future holds a much even better prospect than that. And you are going to realize that straight away because the finisher of the week for you, Cancer, it is the two of wands. And that card speaks that you are going to realize fully on what treasure you are sitting, okay? Uh, and how much you are able to develop at that point, whether it is within your career or whether it is within your uh, romantic life. It is just you will realize that you are sitting on well-established accomplishments at that point. <clears throat> and uh, also you will realize that you are not nearly done. I mean, you can grow so much more. You can, uh, if, you can marry for the person you are dating if you do want to and if you are willing to put the efforts behind it, okay? You can become a so much more important into your job, again, if you are willing to work for it and put the effort behind it. Because the two of ones, it's, it's kind of like the card where, yeah, you are sitting on the top of your tower, right? Which tower in tarot? The tower is a symbol of everything you have built. But here the tower, it is just a just a part of your domain. The guy is reconning or reconnoitering around, looking where to expand, how to expand. And that is the incentive that the accomplishments are good, but you should not stop here by a, by a large margin, okay? You need to look away to expand on these very same accomplishments and that is what you're gonna do it's it's a great week for you cancer i hope you enjoy it and uh, we are to see each other uh next time until then bye